Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. What we have here, we can rewrite this when we have a raised to power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1 and minus. Also, this follows when we have a raised to power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to power m. Over raised to power n. At this here we have 4 raised to power x over 4 raised to power 1 equals to 50 from here. At this here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power 1 is 4 and minus. Also we can write that 4 raised to power x times 1 over 4 equals to 50 on this side. That is, we have 4 raised to the power x come out. Factor it out and we have 4 raised to the power x into bracket. Here remain 4 minus 1 over 4 here. This bracket equals to 50 from here. That is, next step here. We bring this together as one fraction here. We have 4 raised to the power x into bracket. The SCM here is 4, and 1 in 4, 4, 4 times 4, 16, minus 4 in 4, 1, 1 times 1, 1, close brackets, equals to 50 here. That is, here we have 4 raised to the power x times 16 minus 1, that's 15, then over 4, equals to 50 here. That is, here. We remove this 15 over 4 as this we multiply both sides by tracepoca which is 4 over 15 also multiply this side by 4 over 15 here yeah, this cancelled each other now we have 4 raised to power hex equals to 50 times 4 over 15 here yeah. The next step here, we can write this and we have 4 raised to power x equals to 5 times 10 and times 4 over, here we can write this as 5 times 3, that is, 5 here cancel each other. We have 4 raised to power x equals to 10 times 4 over 3 here. Then, here we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 10 times 4 over 3a. Then, here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 4 equals to log 10 times 4 over 3. That is, this here also follows when we have log a times b over c. We can write this as log a plus log b minus log c. That is all we have here becomes x log 4 equals to log 10 plus log 4 minus log 3. Then here we divide both sides by log 4. That is divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4. That is here, yeah, log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to, we separate this into three fractions. We have log 10 over log 4 plus log 4 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. That is here we have log four cancel each other. 
and one left here that is x equals to you can write one first then plus log 10 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 which implies from here we can also write 10 as 2 times 5 that is what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 that is this also follows the law of logarithm and we can write as x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4 then next step here we can also express 4 as 2 times 2 that's 2 square as this here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 square plus log 5 over log 2 square minus log 3 over log 2 square and we apply the power of logarithm here 2 comes here also here then from here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. Here we have log 2 cancelled each other. This becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 and plus 1 over 2 log 5 over log 2 also minus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 then this we apply change of base a because this one we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to base b as this here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 that's same thing as 3 over 2 then plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 then yeah we bring this together as one fraction we have x equals to the sma that's 2 and here we have 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 that is the value of x here we have x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 plus 1. Also minus 4 raised to power 3 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 with 2 all over 2 
minus 1. Then is it equals to 50 on this side? That is here. Yeah. You can bring this together as one fraction. It is 1 over 1. We have 4 raised to the power SCM of here. That's 2. Here we have 3 logs. Log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 plus 2. Also minus, we bring this as well together as one. 4 raised to the power SCM, that's also 2. And we have 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2, then minus 2 here. Is it equal to 50 on this side? That is here, we have 3 plus 2, 5. You can say this is 4 raised to the power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then all over 2 then minus also we have 3 minus 2 1 that's 4 raised to the power 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is equals to 50 here yeah? Then also 4 can be expressed as 2 square, which is raised to the power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then also minus 2 square, which is raised to the power 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. All over 2 is it equals to 50 on this side? Then this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to the power 5 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then minus. Also, 2 cancel each other here. We have 2 raised to the power 1 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3. Base 2 is it equals to 50 on this side? Then we apply the law of indices here. We can write it as 2 raised to the power 5 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 divided by 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 then minus also here 2 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 divided by 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 50 on this side? Then, here, yeah, 2 raised to the power 5, that's 32. Then, times this follows. So, we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. This here, we can say this is 5, then over 3 here, minus 2 raised to the power 1, 2, then times also 5 over 3, is it equals to 50? On this side, then here we have 32 times 5, that's 160 over 3 minus 2 times 5, 10 over 3. Is it equals to 50 on this side? Then we bring this together as one fraction. Let's say is 3, 160 minus 10, that's 150. Is it equals to 50? And of course, 150 over 3 equals 50. It is equals to 50 on this side left hand side now equals to the right hand side then we conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with your thumbs up with your comments See you next class and bye for now.